Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new Kalulu card to check out. Uh, we're taking a look at someone who is six foot tall, medium high work rates, right footed, two star skills, three star weak foot. So we're already starting off pretty nicely with this bad boy. Uh, player traits, he has none in game attributes. Uh, we're giving him an anchor because if you check out this card on an anchor chemistry style, he is going to be a lengthy player, right? So lengthy player with an 86 for acceleration, 92 for sprint speed is in a pretty decent area. Not necessarily bad um, whatsoever for a card like this. Uh, shooting capabilities, he's got none. Passing capabilities, he does have a few, which is always helpful to work with in every single position as much as possible. Dribbling on the card, also in a pretty decent area too, considering the fact that this card is a center back. Uh, it's definitely formatted nicely because he is six foot tall with that lean body type. So hopefully that's a couple of interesting things that we should uh, be able to check out with this card in game. So defensive stats on the card is going to be in a pretty good area as well. On an anchor chemistry style, um, he'll have a little bit of interceptions, defensive awareness, standing tackle, sliding tackle. So a couple of interesting things there. Uh, and then for physical capabilities, he's also going to be in the 90s area on an anchor uh, but then we're also going to be trying him out on a shadow chemistry style because with the shadow chemistry style, you actually give him a little bit of extra interception, sliding tackles, and we're going to be working with the lengthy accelerates with the anchor. So I want to see what he's going to be like on a controlled on a shadow chemistry style while working with his physical stats being as it is, right? So um, yeah, just a couple of things that you have to check out in game. Again, it's a card that has no traits. Usually when people have like the dives into tackles trait, um, it's very, very helpful to work with, right? So uh, with Kalulu, we're just going to be using him as a center back in the team, right? Uh, playing him in the three back formation, uh, playing right down the middle. Uh, we have Mario Rui and Thiago Di Jailo just for the sake of, you know, the chemistry links within the squad. Um, and we'll see what he's like. The only instruction that he has here is stay back while attacking. And then these are going to be the uh, defensive style. It's just me trying out this 3-4-2-1, which I wasn't a huge fan of. So I'm probably not going to review. But um, yeah, we'll be trying him out in that center back position. We'll see how he plays. Hopefully he's a beast. Visitors will set up today. Gianluigi Donnarumma is the keeper. Sandro Tonali plays alongside Vitor Ferreira in central midfield. Oh, can he finish it, Derek? Oh, that is just... Oh, that FIFA mechanic will always drive me insane, man. Couldn't get the initial challenge there, but the track back was really fast afterwards. Nice. Acceleration there was perfect. I needed that. I think Kalulu actually got a touch there. That animation for the defense, that's a really good animation. Nice. Good challenge. Controlled as well. Nice little offside trap there. Alexander Arnold. And on to Jairzinho. Able to get a good block. I'm gonna be honest, I like I really like his defensive animation so far. Like he's he's got some good ones. And taken short. Good block. Nah, we're chilling, we're chilling. Nice interception, Kalulu. My boy Kalulu's got it, don't worry. We're chilling, we're chilling. Nice, Kalulu. Now we're chilling, we're chilling. With the left foot. Oh, couldn't get the ball. We're back though, we're back. Oh. Oh, he drops Holland, bro. He drops him. Nice interception on the manual. Takes 
Now nah, we're good. Just have to control that general area. Yeah, I had a feeling he was going to go for that run with Holland. So his lengthy run animation, um, it's kind of like the other Millie Town one where it's like, you know, there's some players where they feel a little bit faster. Um, like his lengthy is really good, but it has that like same like uh, kind of like slow animation, if that makes sense, right? He was still able to blitz past me there in that situation. So it's not like super, super agile on the run. You can see that it has that like thing to it, right? The challenge. Nicely done. Right, so slower kind of running animation even on that lengthy. So you can see it there again. Is it a foul? It wasn't. Oh, wow. I actually got to that. Hey, dang it, my boy. Thank you for the interception. I love you. The beast. Oh, I didn't get the jump in the air. That was a pass, though. It wasn't a clearance, so... Do you guys see what I'm saying about the running animation? Like, it's not the lightest, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's like more physical behind it, which is fine. Done. I'm lucky with the switch there. Getting well positioned. challenge nice good job AI gets to that Lulu again well positioned yeah I got like two or three blocks off right there not too bad not too bad we're good we're good okay guys so final verdict on the kalulu card so guys uh we try to melt on both the anchor and the shadow chemistry style um you know the card is very interesting because running animation is the same as other melee towns like that that same running type of animation is the, it's the exact same right uh and it's interesting because they're both lean body type players with almost similar heights like one is six foot one the other one is six foot tall so that part of the card is very similar to each other right um so on a lengthy, if you're playing like very basic defense, like a 4 triple 2 4 3 2 one honestly, it'll be perfectly fine to work with because of the extra physical stats that you'd be working with against like, you know, the attackers that can be really, really good. Uh, but I wouldn't put it past people to actually give them a shadow chemistry style because you actually give them extra defensive stats in interceptions and sliding tackles that people are going to underrate a lot, right? Because you can see it's a plus 4, plus 8, but those two areas of the card uh, being improved would be really nice because the physical of being in the mid 80s area is fine right uh, the, the game right now is so pace oriented that giving him a shadow would not be a horrible decision either like i know that a lot of people would give him an anchor because of the um lengthy accelerate situation but yeah it's one of those types of situations if you're playing like more open defense like this three back i was using probably give him a shadow so he can kind of move into positions a little bit quicker uh but if you're using like very basic defending like most people are using an anchor would be fine as well um, so with this card, what I like about him is that it's one of those types of cards on the transfer market that is fairly priced for what he offers in game while providing you really good links. Like, let's just say, for instance, you still have uh, the Ribery card or Pogba or uh, Tonali or Theo Hernandez. Like, there's so many different cards that you can get that provides you that link. That is really sick to work with. Like you can get a triple link setup with Magnan, uh, Theo Hernandez, and then Kalulu, right? And the price of the card is really, really nice for what he offers in game. I do feel like people were overhyping him like a little too crazy. I'm not gonna say that they didn't overhype him. I don't think he's that insane, right? 
but he's pretty good to work with. It's a really, really cool card that EA released um, as a transfer market player to provide you those links in your team uh, for a pretty solid defender, to be honest, right? Uh, when it comes to the center backs in the Serie A, I think the only other main comparison that people would make is maybe to like Tamori, um, Kim and Jay as well. Because the Kim and Jay card, I never actually tried out the PTG card. Uh, top Serie A. Uh... Yeah, I never tried out the, the PTG card, but the player of the month has like the base stuff that's actually really nice. Lucio is definitely better. That's like, that's not even a question. Lucio is just him. Um, I feel like Kim and Jay would actually still be pretty decent. I don't know, because Kim and Jay has like a couple of nice things on him, eh? On a shadow, especially. I still feel like he'd be okay, especially on a lengthy. His pace is like 97 uh, sprint speed is really good. And then the other one is Tamori. I've used Tamori a few times this year. Tamori's actually pretty nice too. I don't mind him whatsoever. It's a really big deal to have the four-star weak foot, in my opinion. Um, the four-star weak foot's definitely a W. Did I ever review the winter wildcard Tamori? I don't think I did. Because like I said, defender reviews are usually really boring to do. Um, unless I'm reviewing like attackers or midfielders. So I probably never got to that point with Tamori. Um, but yeah, I mean, <laughs> 107k. That's so cheap for what he offers in game. Like it, it really is. He's not as overhyped in game, in my opinion, as what people are making him out to be, 100. percent uh, But he's still very, very solid to work with. It's a great price. Everything else is like super expensive in the Serie A, so you really can't go wrong with that, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.